Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Inside the Oven where we interview people and make pizza while doing it. Today's guest is Dan Verno, NFT expert. Yeah, except there's no experts with NFTs because it's so young still. So let's go with NFT enthusiast. Dan Verno, NFT enthusiast. Everybody put your hands in the air. What does NFT stand for? Okay, so NFT stands for non-fungible token. Essentially what that means- We're not gonna get into that just yet. We gotta start making the pizza. Oh, what? Take that. Oh, whoa, look at it go. <laughs> okay, so we have dough, and we're gonna take it out of the pan. And we're gonna take this dough and put it in the flour. Okay, go ahead. Why do you always make it messy? I'm scared you're about to like throw the whole thing Should I do it? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh, you got like a lot of- <laughs> Really got me. Yeah, I threw it at your face. <laughs> Stop. Okay, you, you, in your it's ear. It's good. It, it's like more authentic. While we press out our pizza dough, Dan, what are NFTs? In as little words as possible, pretend I am a five-year-old. Oh child. my gosh, it's so hard because I'm such a rambler. Okay, to put it in one sentence, NFTs are digital assets that are verifiably owned by you on the blockchain, and that might sound like absolutely nothing, but that's exactly what they are. Essentially a digital collectible that is provably owned by you that you can then sell to other people. See, I get that, I yeah, get that. Yeah, like get that it. makes sense, right? And it's, it's hard because you kind of want to explain it. We'll explain. In depth, because it goes so much deeper than that. We have the whole episode. To okay. But it looks like our pizzas are about ready to be thrown into the air. We're gonna catch this monkey fist. I know there's a monkey on a TV, right? They have all those monkeys. I followed Dan on Twitter. It's one day I saw these guys, monkeys. I think there's cat cool cats, right? Um, see, I'm with it a little bit. Like that. Wow. I'm probably gonna drop mine. In my sleep. All right, let's see you do it. Yes. Oh! Okay, Dan. She's right. the real pro, clearly. While we put this pizza on the peel, I just need to ask you a question. Oh <laughs> What's the question? Where were you on the day that you learned about NFTs for the very first time? Yo, okay, this is what actually- What were you eating? What were you wearing? What were you feeling? I was unemployed. I was collecting money from the government. Mm -hmm. I ended up getting a job with Paychecks. All the time I was working with Paychecks, I was doing NFT stuff, and learning about crypto more, and you know everything that the blockchain has to offer. And what I eventually found was that my money-making opportunities in this new space was more so than actually working okay. at Paychecks. Like as soon as that happened, it was like, why, are you why am I here? You know, like I clearly, like there's something much bigger going on. And when I did that, like I secured a big amount of money just by being vocal and being myself. You genuinely love it. And yes. I think that's why it works for you. And you really enjoy it. And you want to take the time to learn more about it because you're passionate about it. Yeah. Why I'm passionate about it, I think, is because it's a culmination of everything I've ever loved. Like movies, art, music, video games. I've been creative. I've, yes, and it's all coming together. Like all of these different creatives from different mediums all meet in the middle with NFTs. It's beautiful. It is, gee, it really is. And in, in a couple of years, everyone's gonna have wallets. Everyone's gonna own NFTs. It's I love okay. seeing him talk so passionately <sighs> about it. It's like so cute, but Pizza. Hey, this pizza's cuter. It, need, it is cuter, but it's gonna stick and it won't look so cute. So okay. let's add some toppings. Can pizzas be NFTs? Oh, sis, are you kidding me? Really? Wait, yeah, really? Of course. We're gonna get a couple of these old-fashioned pepperoni. Don't call them that. I hate when people say that. No, no, it's the cup we and have, char. We oh. have regular pepperoni and we have cup and char. People, there's two in there. Cup and char or regular? What's the vibe? I think I like cup and char more. These make really good Pikachu cheeks, by the way. Like this. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? For anybody who's actually trying to make pizza at home, put pepperoni on first. You want it to be flattest to fattest. Okay. That's it? I don't It looks even. Like four, you don't four, want more three. pepperoni? It's like a... If I give this to a customer, they'd be like, where's my pepperoni? I, I might as well just jump off a bridge. Someone who's into NFTs would be like, you know, that's not. I want more NFT. Yeah, you lost me. <laughs> How would you say that? 
Uh, it needs more utility, maybe? More crypto? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so now it's time for tea. We are going to read our inspirational tea bag messages. Mine says, say it straight, simple, and with a smile. And I could not agree more. What about you? Mine says, people who love are compassionate. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So tell me, Dan, are NFT people lovers or are they fighters? You know, I definitely have to say we're lovers. You think? Oh, oh yeah. It's very much all about the community. It, Is there any, like, Yeah, there's always the people that are loud and obnoxious or like to get their voice heard or whatever it is, but for the most part, it's really just a space of people who are one, accepting of another, one another, but also just helping and... It's a good group of people. Who... Yeah, people value the time that other people give them. It doesn't matter if I'm responding to someone with 10 followers or if I'm responding to someone with 100,000, like... It's just the fact that you guys love NFT and we're exactly, all Exactly, we're yeah. all looking for information and it was... Before there was Twitter spaces, there was Clubhouse, so you'd go in there and just live discussions were going on, and that's where I was really like, I want to be a thought leader in this emerging space. Like, I really want to dive head in and like have people like view me as one of these people that knows what they're talking about, and that only came after a spring and a summer and a fall, and now we're headed into a winter yeah. worth of learning and taking the time and figuring it out, so. I was gonna say, I've known Dan for a good amount of time now, and I have to say, he's always had that in him. I love seeing you on Twitter and like putting that out there. I think it's it's beautiful because it's really who he is. This has always been in him, and that's why I'm so interested because I've always believed in your vision and like who you are. And it's really so cool to see how far you've come. Thanks, Jake. Like actually. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it myself. Like seeing mm -hmm. where like I was talking about where I was a year ago to where I am now. Like it's absolutely insane. Yeah. Like coming into 2021, I set a New Year's re resolution for myself based around crypto and it was to make ten thousand dollars and like really? not not that like all of this is about the monetary because like it's really not like i've made a good amount of money but it's for me at this point like it's, it's more deeper. about yeah it's so much deeper but i really really believe that you are so successful in it and you feel so good about it because you really believe in the right reason to do it it's not like oh i'm just of course you're trying to make money uh, all that's awesome it's a nice perk but it's like you really enjoy it yeah. And we talked about this, like, that's why I feel passionate about, like, Twitch. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm doing this, I love connecting, but, oh, and, like, I get paid for this? Like, I would be fine without yeah. that. It's so fun, and it's so, like... It's fulfilling. It's fulfilling, that's yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Very fulfilling. Yeah. Because you're doing something you genuinely love. All right, Dan, your pizza is ready. Let's see it. Oh, my gosh. There she is. Go ahead and pull her out. Don't drop it. I don't know. It's like a baby. You have to be so careful. Babies are stupid. I mean, Dan! They are! Pizza oh. ASMR. Is it good? Oh, hot. <laughs> Here. It's inside the oven, that's why it's hot. It's out of the oven. That's true. Wow. It's like the cat's out of the bag. The cool cat out of tea, out of the bag. <laughs> that's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. You made it. Mm -hmm. Pretend you want to get into NFTs. Where do you start? Do I like DM you on Twitter? Do I just follow the accounts and like kind of read what people are saying? Like, is there a Joe Rogan podcast? Where do oh I start? Oh my God, stop. I feel like those guys were like, yeah, Joe Rogan says get an NFT, right? Is it so wrong? Gary Vee, not Joe Rogan. Oh, see, I don't even know who that is. Educate me. I'm someone who knows nothing. I really know nothing about it. Educate me. Okay. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who have the same questions. I'm going to be woman enough for both of us and ask it. So. Proud of you. Thank you. You need a crypto wallet. The best one, in my opinion, is going to be MetaMask because with that one, you can buy and sell directly on OpenSea. OpenSea.io is a website, kind of like eBay. If you think about it for NFTs, where if you own an NFT, you can sell it right on there. So it's a secondary market. Coinbase is a really good app. If MetaMask is your hot wallet, so the wallet you carry around every day where you're buying NFTs and whatever, 
your Coinbase is kind of like your crypto bank account. And so set up your Coinbase and that's kind of where you keep, you know, some of your USD and some of your different coins or whatever. Those are pretty much it. You know, once you have your Coinbase set up, that's where you can buy Ethereum, which is the crypto that you need to buy and sell NFTs. What if I want to make my own NFT? NFT? You can do that. Do I go on paint and like pixelate it like Animal Crossing? Well, you could if you really wanted to. You legit could. Like yeah. I could go on Animal Crossing. Yeah. See how he has like a hat and the earring and the mutton chops, yeah. right? Those are mutton all- Mutton chops? Yeah, like sideburns, whatever. Oh, I didn't know that was another name. Yeah, those are all its attributes, okay? okay? And so all of the punks have different attributes, but there's only a pool of like yeah, well, I wanna, 30 of them. Say I want to make the initial punk, like no add-ons, none of this pork chop, like mm -hmm. all that, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I mean though? Yeah. Like what if I wanted to start from scratch? Like It's your art. So like with Cool Cats, the artist started with their blue cat cartoon that they have been drawing for 10 plus years. And they were like, alright, let me give them some hats, some different shirts. It's all just a lot of fun. You know, that's, that's, think about World of Warcraft, RuneScape. Yeah. You know, and you grind for the in-game gold so you can buy the best sword, so you can go to the hardest dungeon, so you can beat the boss and get their rare drop. That is the future of how we make money. And I might sound crazy for saying that, but it genuinely is. We need to drop a collection of NFGs, non-fungible Juliana. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Inside the Oven with G and featuring Danny Hughes. Hope you guys learned a thing or two about NFTs. I know I sure did. Dan, thank you for teaching us. Thanks for having me on. I want to come back anytime and maybe I'll show off some of my cool fingerboarding tricks. Oh, true. Oh, do you want to try one right now? Yeah, let's do it okay. real quick. One time for the one time. Doesn't even matter. Just like, ooh, 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 clean. Okay. <laughs> That's it for that. Wait, let me try. First try! Thanks for watching. <laughs>